What is up my people? So today's video comes to you thanks to the Walt Disney Corporation, the official sponsor of childhood since the early 20th century and which of course has now diversified into being also the official sponsor of all things ethnic. Um, yeah, not my. F I'm, I'm not a fan of corporations generally, but here we go. Um, so, uh, Poker Highness, eh? So this is a just a bit of fun, really, in the in the Latvian Gambit. I get a line, the same line what I got the other day, and when I hung my knight, being a complete muppet face, and in this game, I remember not to hang my knight and have a whole heap of fun kicking White's Queen all over the park. So that is the theme of the game. It's a whole lot of fun. I've got it, this open, so I played it on Lee Chess anyway. My opponent's rated 1891 on Lee Chess. I'm now up to 1864 after that victory, so I was 1855, uh, which I guess is you know around the 1500 mark. Uh, chess.com rapid equivalent. So this is a 10 minute game and um, so I've got this up now in Lee Chess. I'm going to stick the fish on and um, we're also I've also got the Lee Chess database open of all the previous games and I've got it set to, we'll just do, hold it, sorry, 1600, 1800, 2000 blitz and rapid. So let's go. Um, doesn't take doesn't take forever this this particular game as you might imagine so e4 e5 and knight to f3 now this is the most common move by a country mile uh, played almost two out of three times at this level on Lee chess the bishop's opening is next most common uh, which we meet with the the same thing f5 Calabresi counter gambit and then we have f4 Ye King's Gambit. Um, so I'm still kind of scratching around with that one. How often is that played? 8.7% of the time. It's about 1 in 12, right? And then you might get d4, the center game, possibly leading to the Danish, just about 1 in 20. And Knight c3, Ye Old Vienna, played about 1 in 20 games. And then you have the uh, boring old quiet d3, okay, which is, which is playable. Um, that's like, no, would that, would that be the King's Indian attack? I don't know. Anyway, in the game we have the most common response, knight to f3, and um, <coughs> I jump straight into the Latvian. Now, Stockfish here disapproves violently, says you're an absolute fool, and you are going to end up with your head on a stick. Um, however, in the real world, Black wins 48% of the time from here, white wins 49% of the time, but there are tricks and traps and things to fall over and hurt yourself. White begins his campaign of complete and utter self-destruction with accepting the gambit. There's a couple of ways to accept. You can take the pawn or the knight can take this pawn. It's like, take your pick, white. Okay, and now, um, <clears throat> because they've done that, your your pawn is free to move forward. Uh, Black is now winning 50% of the time from this position. All right. Now, there are... Knight d4 is the most common move, right? Knight to e5 is second best, according to the fish. Knight g1 is actually third best, followed by queen e2, right? If you play queen e2, then Black, you know... It, if you've played the Vienna Gambit, you know exactly what to do um, with Vienna Gambit. Accepted, this is the exact same deal, um, apart from, you know, White has a knight out, didn't they? Anyway, so, um, yeah, where is it? So why can't White, if it's the Vienna, I don't know, I don't know. Too early in the morning, I've not had enough of this. So you have the Queen blocks pinning the pawn to prevent the pawn from taking there. You just put your queen on e7 and the the pin is broken and the spell has gone. Anyway, so, so, and then that's actually the most, the second most common move, queen e2, but it's not fantastic, okay? 
played over one in four times. Knight e5 is, is played less, less commonly. So knight e5, just so you know, I believe the move is queen g4. Okay, Stockfish actually says knight to f6, but queen g4 is aggressive. So you're attacking the pawn, the pawn can't move because then you take the knight. I think that's correct. Anywho, in this game we have the most common move, knight to d4. Because you can imagine knight e5, it feels like, well, my knight's just going to get kicked or I'm just a bit too far, you know, too far forward without any support. And we are now, obviously, we, you know, we're in full on gambit mode. So what we want to do is we, we don't want to give our opponent a chance to sit down or scratch his ass. okay? So, queen f6 is the correct move here. We are hitting the pawn. We are also hitting the knight. Now, the most common move by far here is c3. Okay, If they push c3, we bring our knight out to c6. Most likely trade knights. Recapture with the d pawn. Okay. Um, and then your bishop is free to come back out. Your queen's out in the board. Your queen is on the f file looking down at this. Your bishop's going to come out here. All good stuff. Okay, so we've hit the knight. All right now, opponent does not play the most common move. It, look, c3 looks very natural. You've already moved your knight. You know, um, one two times, haven't you? So um, you don't want to move it again. So you think c3, you know, I might get my queen out. I can live with with this, you know, blocking off my other knight. At least I'm not retreating the horse, right? Back to here or to here. Both equally unappealing squares for the, for the horse. Opponent here does not play that move, okay? Opponent here plays the very tempting queen h4 check, but this does not work, does it, Precious? No. Well, why, why doesn't it work, Hunty? Well, I'll explain why, right? It's because our queen is on this long dark square diagonal. Our queen defends this rook, okay? Therefore, we can push g6. And if pawn takes, we can just take back, hitting the queen, okay? And our queen, because as soon as the g-pawn moves, is defending the rook. So it's not a threat. So I push g6, it's the best move, okay? And now, white is actually in a pretty losing position. The best move by a long way is f takes, right? Anything else is just losing, basically. So f takes, and really interestingly, I, I do actually manage to find most of the best moves here. So if you if you're up for a, a game, then you know, then see what you would play from this point on. There's um, there's only about nine more moves in in the whole game. Okay, so we're hitting the queen. So the queen can't stay on the h-file. The knight is also under attack. So these are the obvious squares for the queen to go to. Okay, obviously not that one because bishop will take it. Okay, so the queen's almost certain to come to d5, which indeed she does. Now, this is where we got to in the previous game when I wasn't playing very well, right? Because she's actually also attacking the knight. And if you play this thinking, look how clever I am, prematurely. I mean, this is not a bad move, but it is at this moment because you undefend the knight. Okay, so what you do is you play knight to e7. This happens to hit the queen one more time. Okay. Uh-oh. White just got greedy, right? White just grabbed the spare pawn, but it is the most common move. It is played 68.5% of the time, right? That's more than two in three, okay? The, the, uh, the other move is queen to c4, which is kind of equally losing. Well, I mean, it's black loses, sorry, black wins two thirds of the time from there. Black wins two thirds of the time if they take the pawn. Now, what's wrong with taking the pawn? Well, now it's time that we roll out our rook idea. Rook to h4, not rook to h5, okay? Rook to h4, we're hitting the queen, Right? We're also x-raying the knight with a second attacker. And look, we've got pew, 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 three pieces out in the board. Okay, against two, only for white. And white now has to burn a move trying to save their queen. Right, so it's minus three, whichever way you look at it now, in black's favour. Um, 
the best move according to the machine well there's two best moves really you've got queen e3 which drops the knight probably to the rook and the the other best move is g4 in fact the stockfish has now changed its mind and now says that g4 is is the better move um queen f3 is played the most commonly Okay, queen f3 is minus 3.7 here. So if queen f3, we take the knight with the queen. Okay, good to remember. Right, um, so uh, white here plays the second most common move and the engine's favorite with g4, blocking the rook's attack on the queen. So, so, what do you do from this position? What would you play? There is one best move here that keeps black's attack going and remember the theme we are not letting this queen sit down for a second that's right pawn to d5 correct pawn to d5 is defended by this knight and we're hitting the queen yes again yes again yet again okay queen now retreats to e3 this is the engine's recommendation and it's also the most common move played half the time okay queen slides back to e3 maintaining the pin on on this knight here okay so now what do we do okay find another attack on the queen if it comes to development so much the better that's right bishop h6 ouch this queen is starting to run out of places to run away to okay so the computer's recommendation here again is to block with another pawn, but that is just not played. In fact, this has only been this position's only been seen five times on Lee Chess, and one of them is me. Isn't it? Probably. No, apparently uh, I'm not on that database. Apparently. Anywho, so uh, best move now is Queen C3. Well, that's the most common move. Computer doesn't like it as much as f4. f4, it says, is, is best here. But uh, your opponent is very unlikely to play that. Here we have queen across here. Right, now, in, in fact, I think my opponent first played this and then requested a take back. Um, maybe realizing it, uh, you know, hung the knight. But actually, so then moves the queen to here, I guess with the idea of attacking the rook. So... What would you play here? That's right. Rook takes g4. Again, we're defended by this bishop. Again, this queen now can't retreat that way. Right? So, again, now we have pew, 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 four pieces in the board. You have entered the game. Okay? Note that the, the queen is looking at c7, but we do not care about such trivial things. Queen takes c7. Um, blunder. Blunder, really, that. Now it's minus nine in uh, black's favor. If you look carefully, you will see queen can't take the bishop because it's defended by the knight. Queen can't take there because it's defended by the bishop. Queen can't take the knight because it's defended by the rook. Queen can't come here or here. Queen can't give check there. So actually this king is sitting pretty, right? Um, and of course, we have a hung horse, okay? Um, so best move here slightly is rook takes. I take with the queen. And opponent now plays queen takes c8. Uh, which is the fifth best move for, for white here. Actually giving up the, the whole queen. And then my opponent throws in a check and then resigns. Okay. So what should white have done here? Um, knight to c3, apparently. Knight to c3, best move. And then what is our continuation? Bishop f4. Bishop f4 looks good for black, apparently. Bishop f4, knight to e2. Just really trying... To, oh, oh yeah, bishop f... Oh my lord. Bishop f4 hits the queen again again and where can she go she could go here that's that's an option 
right? That's out, 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 out. Out queen takes, out pawn takes. She's only got one square. And if she goes here, now this is this position has never been seen. She goes here. Um, knight b to c6. Then we hit her again. Bang, bang. Ooh. And that's nasty. That is nasty. So in fact, the best move here, according to the machine, is knight e2, bishop takes queen. Horrible, horrible situation. And that, that kind of, of game is why you play things like the Latvian Gambit. This is what really divides the crowd in a half the, uh, the serious chess world. Says it's a stupid opening. <coughs> Stockfish thinks it's a stupid opening. I don't. I think it's a, a whole heap of fun. And I play chess because I enjoy it. I enjoyed this one. Hope you did too. Thanks for watching. See you later.